called like rainbow costumes. And like there is a rainbow on the storefront. You'll remember what the two models who tried to pick him up earlier in the movie yes. made reference to. Mm-hmm. So then he uh, he is, is sort of let in and negotiates with this sort of like uh, sleazy costume shop owner played by uh, the actor Raid Sherbega, who you may know is like a guy playing Russian in yeah. millions of movies you've seen. Just, He's, is he the, the dad in John Wick? Yes. No, 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 no. That That's the guy from Girl with the Dragon oh, Tattoo. Oh, no, yeah, the he, first one, no. He's the dude from, like, Snatch. And yeah, he was in Snatch. He was, like, the arm. Boris the Blade. Yeah, Boris the Blade. No, he, yeah, the arm. He was dealer. also yeah. uh, the Putin figure in The Saint. Yeah. With Val Kilmer. Man, that summer. movie's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that, the, the final, the, that movie hinges, the, the plot hinges at the end of the movie on a light bulb coming on because it's about... It's about fusion or something and like uh-huh. finding fusion technology. And so there's a scene where like, are they going to get the light bulb on? And this entire square full of people staring at a light bulb. And then it goes on and then like the, the music goes up and it's like, it worked. Be on the lookout for the, uh, the Saint episode coming soon. So he negotiates with this sleazy costume store owner and he's like, I'll pay you $200 above you know, price for your inconvenience. And like they go into the, the, the costume basement of, of this store and he's like, oh, sir, like, I'll help you up, blah, blah, blah. Then it becomes clear that, like, in the back room, there's, like, thumping going on. And he goes in there and, and immediately finds his teenage daughter and, like, two Asian businessmen who are dressed as women doing some, like, weird sex stuff. And he, like, you know, blows up at them. They're doing the next season of SNL. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's like, oh, you whore. And, like, locks him in the room. And he's like, I'm going to call the cops or whatever. And uh, all very weird. Tom Cruise is like, could I, could I just get my costume and leave? Like, this is very odd. He gets the costume. He gets the tux. He takes a cab out to the secret location of the secret party. Now, when he pulls up to this, like, gigantic mansion, what was the name of the estate? It's it was like Summerton. S- Summerton. And you, and you said that if yeah, you Google... Yeah, because I Googled it. Because, I don't know, the last watch through, I was like, all right, well, what? Because it's such, like, obviously... I mean, it feels like the sign is designed so shittily that you like it's deliberately put there because it, you they want to draw attention to the fact that this is a fake sign and not just like what that house happens to be named. Yeah. But if you Google Summerton, I guess you get like a, a couple of things. But I did find some like article from like the late 1800s where there was a town called Summerton and there was like a house with a bunch of children's bodies found in the walls that's just every English person's <laughs> house though make of make of that what you will yeah but he he gives he gives the password fidelio and is is let into you know they drive him up to the to the big house and it's this like insane mansion and there was like every limo parked in the driveway now keep in mind this is christmas time it's a christmas movie it takes place in the christmas universe which means eyes wide shut and die hard take place in the same cinematic universe in one of those limos was Argyle. <laughs> yes. Waiting for one of his clients to come out and he's listening to Run DMC and talking to girls on the phone next to a gigantic teddy bear. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's happening. And then at one point, Carl Winslow pulls up to the driveway, takes a look around. He's like, man, they're not doing shit here. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting a Twinkie. Fuck this. So then this is really like the centerpiece of the movie. This is, this, this is what everybody thinks about when they think about Eyes Wide Shut. He gets on his costume and cape walks into the mansion and begins to see what is, in all honesty, probably like the lamest orgy ever conceived of. It's some real sex nerd shit. Right. Obviously, like, there are limitations to what they could show, but I choose to believe that there's no symbolism or implied meaning here, and it's just that billionaires get together to watch Girl on Girl. Yeah. Very mild. Touch boobs. Girl. Yeah. So and it's like do ev- really elaborate rituals for no so, reason. Yeah, like, and like the, 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 the famous, it's like a Romanian chant being played backwards while a guy who's like the leader in a red cloak is like standing in the middle of a circle surrounded by uh, like 10 robed masked women and then like when he hits his scepter they like disrobe and they're naked and they kneel in front of him and he has like a A censer a censer of incense going around and it's this like weird ritual and we were like and then they're all surrounded by other people in cloaks and masks watching this and like we were joking like there has to be at least one guy there who's just like horny and he's like uh uh, what can we fuck yeah what's what's going on they don't like (laughs) they well like the ritual part like that's what the al- the richest guy does, and that's like the billionaire version of Cards Against Humanity. Like they just want to chill, they just want to fucking chill, 
and this guy's like making them play this game because yeah. it's epic. No, <laughs> he's say got, no to Lloyd Blake. He's got fun. the best prostitutes. He's got the b- best house for orgies. But he's also the biggest dork and insists, no, nah, man, it's going to be cool. We're going to do the thing with the incense and the chanting. The- oh, God damn it. I just want to fuck. We were laughing about the idea. Oh, my God. We were laughing about the idea of, like, there's just one rich guy in that crowd who's just some, like, fucking dipshit from Ohio who got a mesothelioma <laughs> settlement. <laughs> he just has a Thanos flat brim, no mask. He's like, damn, damn, is Lisa Ann in this bitch? <laughs> Nick, you said one of them was wearing, would be wearing the scream mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I liked it. Like Tom Cruise gets there and he's like, again, I am going to have sex to prove to my wife that I can. Yeah. And he gets there and there's all these like, you know, gorgeous like naked women. And then, like, they're all just standing around looking at him, and he just starts jacking off. <laughs> and everyone's just like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> He's like, what? what? Yeah, yeah, he just immediately makes a beeline to his friend at the piano and be like, huh, cool party, man, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, like, oh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go talk to girls in a second. How are you doing? <laughs> remember college? <laughs> dude, remember our, yeah, remember when we would have, like, LAN parties in college? <laughs> was, no, yeah, I talked to girls. <laughs> I'm going to talk to one of them in a second here. So just, my mask is I'm I'm like my I you know my mask just doesn't feel good so. <laughs> 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 the other, the other funny hours. thing to think about is he's just like <laughs> blowing it all night long. <laughs> That's how they caught him. They're like, was it the password? They're like, no, you're just so bad at fucking. <laughs> you're like, you just did. You have a mask on. You're at an orgy, a satanic orgy, and you still didn't seal the deal with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the one woman you isolated warned you to leave. Yeah, yeah. You're so bad at fucking. Bill, you got to get out of here. Yeah. Everyone's making fun of you for being a loser. <laughs> <laughs> The other really funny thing that we were thinking about, like, during this scene, again, this movie was released in 1997, and this was, like, you know, one of these, like, Stanley Kubrick moments, like, of, of interior shots that are form a kind of, like, liminal space, like a kind of a, a weird hyper-reality of, like, his symmetrical shots, like, think, the, you know, the bathroom in the Overlook Hotel, the white room at the end of 2001, things like that. It's a very uncanny sense, uh, like I said. But then you imagine, like, okay, this is the height of like ultra, ultra elite power and decadence. And then you start to think like, who are the people behind the masks? And it's like 1997, it's just like all three of the Pep Boys. Mm-hmm. Dave Thomas of Wendy's. Orville Redenbach, <laughs> yeah. J.D. Power, all his associates. Yeah. The guy who invented the Tamagotchi. <laughs> <laughs> the slap bracelet. <laughs> the guy who invented the bookmark yeah. feature on Netscape. Uh, Doug from Nickelodeon. <laughs> Clippy is there in the mask. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Tom Cruise begins to wander around the orgy, which he see, in which he sees sights, again, more depraved than you can possibly imagine, which include women rubbing each other's rib cages, Whoa. squeezing each other's breasts very lightly. Perverted. Like, it's just, and it's like all like. A couple people having sex. But like, uh, they, uh, they, but they censored the it together. Kind of sitting around, touching each other, going down on one another while wearing the masks. Yeah. That was the other thing. Well, I realized. My, the, my favorite thing from the whole party is that scene where they're, it's very brief. It's when they've like already caught him and they're escorting him out. It's just the guy dancing with a naked man, <laughs> like slow dancing with him. He's yeah. not doing, because they can't show anything sexual. They can show guys like fucking girls or whatever, but even that's like, like as far as we'll go with homosexuality, is he'll. Be casually slow dancing with a nude man <laughs> while fully dressed himself. <laughs> the, just the depths of perversion. I mean, that was the other thing. Everyone at the party is wearing a full Renaissance mask, including uh, the escorts, like the the, you yeah. know, the women who are part of this sex ritual, which means absolutely no top at all. Nobody is getting nope. neck at this party. Nope. Not, n- none of that going on. But, but they show just, someone going down Yeah, you saw, see a guy eating pussy with a mask on. I That's just, just he's nuzzling he's a woman's crotch nuzzling. with a mat with a Halloween yeah. mask. Yeah. Oh, also, um, Jim Varney Ernest is also at the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ernest, Ace Ventura, <laughs> the most respected law enforcement figure in the country. <laughs> Ernest fucks stupid. <laughs> 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 well, all righty then. <laughs> Ernest goes to Little St. James Island. <laughs> Vern, what the hell? I don't want to fuck a boy, Vern. <laughs> so eventually, like, again, uh, a, a woman, uh, you know, like, like sort of zeroes in on him and says, like, you know, you're in danger. You have to leave. 
like they, you know, like you, you know, you're not supposed to be here. And he's like, I'm not supposed to be here. Um, and then, you know, like the jig is he's up. Like, he's like, what do you mean I'm not supposed to be here? She's like, I'm sorry, wrong guy. <laughs> Get back in there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking like a champ. <laughs> so uh, the, the jig is up and he gets like, you know, brought back to like the, the, the center room and surrounded by a group and confronted by the man in red who's just like, you had the password, but do you know the second password? And he's just like, uh, 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 uh. and at this moment we realize. Like Felix, like your lion guy character could like get out of this situation he easily. Would, he would be running that party by yeah. the end of it. He He's would like, be sitting in the yeah, throne. I bet you don't know the password, and that's why you're asking me. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, everyone, this guy's a fucking pussy. He's nothing without that red ass outfit. <laughs> Let's Thinks all, he's better than us because he's got a chair. Let's all fuck him. <laughs> yeah. Then you'd be like, fuck this stupid music and put out some fucking stain. Mm -hmm. Just be like, whatever, dude. I'm here with the fucking band. You guys are lame. <laughs> I'm friends with the band. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's how I got here. I don't know how we, well, you made money. You had to buy your way in. I'm a fucking rock and roll star's friend. <laughs> My okay. friend, Nick Nightingale, I, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I follow Nick Nightingale on tour, dude. We went to fucking, we were boys from medical school. <laughs> we used to study pussies together. <laughs> we saw we saw a top flight dead bitch up in the examination room. We cut him up, dude. That's how we learned how to fuck. <laughs> He's just going off. They're all just silent. <laughs> and they're yeah, all like, just, all, just yeah. every member of the council in foreign relations just staring at him. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yo, we we would just go one hole, the other hole. You know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and and then Gale, he was learning how to play piano. We followed Prodigy on tour all the way through Scotland. And I got so fucked up off ketamine, I forgot what my middle name was. <laughs> and like behind the mask, Henry Kissinger is like, very interesting. <laughs> uh, okay. Dershowitz is like, can we rape him now? <laughs> can we rape this guy? I brought my nephew. My nephew Mortimer's here to, to do his first rape. <laughs> Not now, Alan. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. He hasn't said the password yet. <laughs> So uh, he gets called out and like an idiot, like he just chokes up and like, again, never admit wrongdoing in a situation like that. Double down always. Mm -hmm. Just accuse them of, you know. Right. Everyone doing, else yeah. is always the real drug exactly. addict. And then like, then, and then like the, the woman who warned him like appears at the top of a staircase and is like, no, take me. I assume responsibility. And they're like, OK, all right, you can go. So he goes home. Back in his apartment after his, you know, night of absolutely striking out over yeah, and over just again. Just blowing it. <laughs> just fucking blowing it. Never even really coming close. He comes back to the apartment, uh, he, you know, goes to the bedroom after, like, you know, hiding his, his you know, cape outfit in his office. Uh, you know, Alice, Nicole Kidman is in bed. Uh, again, having a laughing fit still, like having a dream that's causing her to laugh. Eight hours later, like she is still I gotta get that pack. strong. <laughs> that stuff is fire. I need that. <laughs> I need to just destroy my brain. That she's mind. having a, such an intense dream that she wakes herself up from laughing and then proceeds to confess her dream to Tom Cruise because he's like, think how tired he must be. And then you have to listen to someone tell you a dream they had. Oh, those are great. And the dream is basically like a reflection of the party he just went to. She was like, I dreamt that I was like naked, surrounded by people, and they were laughing at me. And then the Navy guy fucked me, and like, I was laughing at you. Well, that was fucking a bunch of guys. Yeah. So it's like an eerie reflection of the experience she just had, you know, in her dream. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, back to the, the Summerton mansion. This is like a news clipping that Nick found here. Ghastly discovery at Summerton. Four babies' bodies found in attic. The discovery of the remains of four babies in an attic at Somerton has created a great sensation in that normally quiet town. The discovery was made in a house known as The Green, now unoccupied, but lately in the possession of Mr. Thomas Welch, deceased. 